Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video Truder, and welcome back to Fallout 2, where things are starting to come together for me. I've found a town, I've found some shops, I've found some quests, I've made some money, and I've stolen a man's gun. A man who I will actually need to help me ultimately. So I might regret that given a bit of time, but whatever, it's 100% fine for the time being. The point is I've got a companion with a massive hammer and a gun by my side. Let's see how effective we are in a fight now. Start off nice and easy. There's a little gecko down over here and... Sule. Sule, do you maybe want to run when I'm running if you'd be so kind? Actually, you know, do try and keep up. Otherwise, you're going to start the combat way bloody back from... Sule. Sule, come on. Sule, seriously. Okay, I'm just going to fall back and let Sule handle this, all right? I'm going to end my turn right over there. And Sule, he actually... There we go. Now he's getting his... Sule, you've got a sledgehammer. Probably you ran out of action points there, so I will head over in this direction. End my turn there. I'm just kind of curious how strong he is. So, he's just okay. He's just basically smashed him with a sledgehammer. Good. Good, 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 good. So, Sully was hit for four and then three. Little Gecko was hit for 12 hit points and then was critically hit for another 11. Tearing some of its skin off, he was killed. Fine, so Sulik appears to be able to do a pretty good job murdering things. Gotcha. And I think we can end the combat right there. In which case, do we have any skins? Because it feels like no skin there, but yeah. We could actually do with actually taking some skins off the golden ones in particular. Might be worth a good amount of money. And they are a bit on the big side, the golden ones, it must be said. Right, Sulek, let's actually just loop around the outside here, see if we can pick off that golden one by himself. And ideally, yeah, you hit it with a sledgehammer, and I will try and actually use a flipping gun. It's going to be marvellous. And of course, the advantage of a gun is uh, I can actually take a shot without getting too close, which is bloody beautiful. So, yeah, just further down over here... Sule, you just stay close by. There's no more over here, is there? No, there's no more over here. Right, we're ready to flipping go. Five AP is shot, so I can fire this thing. No, I can't fire this thing twice. Because, of course, you need to reload between shots. Gotcha. Let's just be ready here. I feel like this guy wanders in this direction a little bit. Here we go. Let's start considering my chances to hit here. So 17% at that range, I consider not that bad. Honestly, that's not terrible at all, because that's pretty extreme range right there. Okay, so, he's probably going to... No, I'd like you to actually come over here. 33% chance to hit. Again, not bad. Not bad at all. Get over here. All right. Oh, he saw me. Okay, so he's coming over. He's very much coming over at this point. I think I probably get two turns in a row right here. I'm going to go over and do my spear. So that's 43% chance to hit. With my gun, that is... Let's actually check. That is 84% chance to hit. That's flipping better. Including, yeah, I can actually take an aim shot with my one shot here. Which gives me... Oh, yeah, lovely. 54%, 84% wherever I want right there. Probably best just to go for a standard shot, to be honest. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a standard shot against him. 84% chance to hit. Shoot him. That's going to do 12 hit points. Not bad at all. Then, of course, if I want to, I can reload. But that is two action points. So, in which case, go over to my spear and just give him a stab. Which is 43%. And go for a hit there. And that's another 9. So, I've done like 20 hit points damage to him right now. He is already severely wounded. End my turn. And, yep, yeah, at this point, Sulik comes in. Smashes him for 7 and then also 10. It's my turn again. He's got to be really badly wounded now. Yep, flipping almost dead. So, one, two, three. And then in we go for 36%. Sadly, we missed. So, I'll take the extra armor condition instead. He attacks me. But I was hit for six. Another one is coming in as well. But sulik has got to be coming in soon. And the golden goes down. Spot on. More geckos coming in. But we need to actually take those guys out anyway. Because, yeah, the actual still's over there. Once we've killed these guys, though, we should be in very, very good shape. So, do I actually want to... No, I want to end my turn there. Because maybe a couple of steps further back. 
They'll run over here. Sule, don't run at them. Let them run at us, because then they waste their turn coming at us. And there we go. Sulika's doing some beautiful work right there. Spot on. So now I can actually move uh, one, two, three, four. Come in for a stab. Sadly, miss. But yeah, now they might attack me or they might attack Sulek. So, oh, obviously they all go for me. Still, with my armor condition, I can avoid pretty easily. These little geckos are not going to stand up to me and Sulek now. Stabby stab. Stabby stab some more. And unfortunately, yeah, these guys are still standing. Sulek, this one's on you. They're not doing much to me, to be honest. Why are they attacking me and not him? He's the one with a giant hammer. I feel like he is drawing a fair bit of attention to himself. Yeah, they are determined to go for me. And they're actually doing a very good job, all things considered. Please finish them off. There we flipping go. Three geckos dead. And I am admittedly in a little bit of trouble, all things considered. But can we actually have ourselves no hide? Dear oh flipping dear. And don't forget, just because the battle's over, this gun isn't auto-reloaded. We do need to manually reload that one anyway. Now, what's between me and the actual still right now? Looks like it's, yeah, a couple of golden geckos. And uh, we should be able to handle that, even though I'm a little bit low on the old health. In fact, was there a single doctor in town? I'm not sure there was. And by the way, the gecko's actually coming in right now. So this is all very bad news. Right, 45% chance to hit. And obviously I... Uh-oh. Little gecko was... How did you hit that gecko over there? How? Okay, I've decided I'm going to back off and let Sulik handle this. And there we go. Sulik, this one's on you. And knocking him down. Doing some good work there. Three and five. It's apparently my turn again. Right, uh, reload gun for two action points. And be ready to take a shot. But, oh, I've not got a good line. Yeah, I'm just a little bit nervous of that golden, so I kind of want to keep my distance, actually. Maybe I'll, yeah, just actually uh, hang out over here. And obviously he wants to come for me. Screw you. Yeah, that's right. Punch him in the flipping back. Right, 73% chance to hit. Boom. That does 12 hit points. Nice. Can't use it again, though. And now, how strong are you? Because I could start running. Yeah, he's looking severely not almost dead. And I'm really worried that a single hit will kill me right now. So as I've actually got a companion with me, I'm just going to basically run away from him. And, yep, he's actually in a bit of trouble. So that's a further three. And now I can actually get, yeah, one thrust and then run. Thrust. Hit for six. He's still not flipping dead. He's almost dead. <laughs> Back off. Sulik, this one's on you because apparently that gecko's got a taste for my blood. Oh, he's got a hit in. Bloody hell. Please hit him with a sledgehammer. I've got almost no health. Right, I'm going for an emergency. Into the inventory. Do some flipping healing powder. There we go. 19 hit points, but of course, perception debuff as well. Go for a hit. That's a miss. He hits me. I was definitely right to do that. And he's still not flipping dead. Keep hitting him with a hammer, please. And oh, finally. Bloody hell. Okay, golden geckos. No flipping joke as it turns out. Right, I'd say what we probably want to do is just complete the quest for Bob and then get the hell out of here. So... Yeah, if we just actually want to stay very, very far south, that'd be flipping marvellous. Looks like we can just sneak around the ones who are still here. So, in we go. Come on, there's an inside here. Never mind, there's a door. Open up the door, please. Is it locked? And no, nope, we're good. In we go. And while I'm here, I'm robbing the place blind. Here we go. Handful of flares can be useful inside caves. Don't worry about that. Grab the fruit, grab the flares, diddly diddly dee. And now I assume we just need to, uh, yeah, twist the top, activate it, something, something, something. No, that was the flare that I was twisting the top of. Yeah, distilling device. I need to... What do I need to do? He said, put some wood into it. How do I put wood into it? Also, I'll be having Whiskey Bob's whiskey while I'm here. Ah, here we go. There's a bunch of stuff highlighted in yellow. Firewood! That's what we need. Uh, together with, yep, some booze. Uh, more stuff over here. Yeah, if you're ever confused, just hold down shift and the game kind of helpfully does highlight important things. 
Uh, so more over here as well. Uh, more booze right there. I'll be having all of that. Right, now I've got firewood. Now I toss that in here. That should be fine, hopefully. Unless you want me to use firewood on item. Yes, yes you do. So this is an example of how to use items like that. So set the firewood as an item and then just use that on that. So the hooch is already distilling nicely. 100 XP, 10 karma. Now probably best we actually escape. Oh, we can't escape quite the way we came in. People are already wandering all over the shop. Right, where are the goldens? So I kind of want to avoid the goldens, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Sue Lake, we can just head over here. You know what? The babies are probably easy to... Sue Lake. Sue Lake, you're just giving our position a waiter. All right, run north, run north, run north, run north. Who's coming for me? Rod, it's just a little one. Just a little one. That'll be fine. And this guy seems to get criticals quite a lot. He's actually had, yeah, a fair few criticals dotted about. And now stab him while he's on the ground for a relatively easy hit. 10 health, dead. And now I'd say, yeah, pick off this next little one too. Little ones are fine for being picked off. Hello, little one. There we go. He's... Okay, that one saw me. The other one didn't. All right then. That's absolutely fine. Uh, so one, two, and now get a couple of hits in over here. So hit, and that's a miss, but I think I should get... No, you've got higher sequence than I was expecting. Sulik, please save me from my own catastrophically bad decisions. And stab. Stab some more. Four and eight. Okay, these guys are a bit on the tougher side. Sulik, save me. I'm being mauled by flipping geckos. As usual, thank you. All right, some more hits in there. For nine hit points and just hope for evade. That was one evade and one hit point. And you managed to miss, dear oh flipping dear. This is getting a bit messy. Five hit points and a miss. Keep hoping for evade. I've got nine health left and there's no doctor in town. Make that five left and no doctor in town. And you're still not flipping dead. Bloody hell. These geckos have got more health than the ones outside of Royo. And... Oh, this is bad news. This is very bad news. Please finish it off. <laughs> Thank you. I'm almost dead. Right, I think it's time to get the hell out of Dodge here. I'm very almost dead. Still, Whiskey Bob did promise me $50 for this. So hopefully he delivers, because that actually pays for like one-seventh of Sulik right there. Here's your $50. Marvelous. I have actually been paid. And now that me and him are friends, he's actually willing to talk in some detail about various little bits and pieces. Yeah, the Brahmin mutilations. Does this have anything to do with those two brothers? They say critters that look like giant man-shaped bugs in a shell and everything are mutilating Brahmin at night. Ah, right. That's the pincers I found. It's the brothers. They're wearing those pincers to pretend to be Bugman to fool Tor because he's not the brightest tool in the shed. Gotcha. So I know exactly what's actually going on there. There's a canyon just to the west of town that had a bright light in it just a few months back. Ever since, every now and then, there's a horrible squealing sound that comes from the canyon. Brahmin that wander in don't come back. Everyone's afraid to get near. Okay, that's interesting. Just to the west of town. And just to the west of downtown, there's a back section that's overrun by rats. Further back you go, the bigger they get. Some say that there's a huge great rat spirit that's leading them all. Some of the trappers won't even stay there anymore. They say it's too dangerous. Okay, so potentially another little area with some rats this time. Also, fun bit of information about Vic there. He didn't like to work too much, so he'd specialise in expensive pre-war things and then go sell them to the den, or even hawk them to stupid tribals as religious artefacts. Right, so Vic's a bit of a con man, gotcha. And we already saw there were several more Vault 13 flasks in his house, so yeah, the flask I've got is not actually the flask of the Vault Dweller of Fallout 1. He's just got loads of them, he just sells them as trinkets. I see. Oh, and bloody hell, Whiskey Bob actually claims to have a flipping lead on the Garden of Eden creation kit. I think I saw one of those listed on a page of an old catalogue I was looking through while I was sitting down out back. I don't know much more about it than that. Okay, I kind of used that page to take care of some business, if you know what I mean. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely spot on. <laughs> Fine, that might just be a bit of a joke then, not an actual lead. Actually, now I'm curious. 
In theory, would the bathhouse actually act as, like, a doctor? Like, if I have a good cleaning, does that in any way actually help out my health? I feel like I don't actually want to test that theory. No, I feel like, you know, as I am currently officially a virgin of the waste, I'd like my first time to be more meaningful than the cheapest prostitute I can get my hands on in a bathhouse and in inverted commas. I want it to be a bit more special than that, so we'll leave that theory aside. Alright, time to figure out what else is floating around. So, I believe over here, yeah, that'll be the transition to rat territory, which we might not be well placed to take care of right now. What's this one? You have entered Trapper Town. Okay, is anyone here a doctor? Because I really need a doctor. Well, so far, no one seems interested in talking to me. They're just a bunch of unnamed NPCs muttering about the rat problem that's already been mentioned to us. Now, there is what looks like a gun store up north. You can tell because of the giant sign that says guns, but... How do I get to that side of town? Because it looks like everything is... Can I loop around the very outside of town? Hang on, how are we supposed to navigate around this place? Because there's lots of wire fences and whatnot. Here we go. If we go around here, and then cut around the back through here, this place is a bit of a pain to navigate. Oh, but... Gecko pal! This is probably going to make me unpopular stealing all their stuff, but whatever. I think the only person here has got their back to me, so they won't realise. Lovely. No, this only gets me to this side of the building. So I can't get through there. There's fencing there. This is all blocked off. That's all blocked off. This building, I think, is closed up as well. And then there's fencing here. Okay, there doesn't seem to be a way to get to the northern half of Trapper Town. Possibly because they're so scared of that giant rat that was mentioned. So in which case, if I return to downtown by the gecko, and then there's a transition right over here. No, this is not where I was expecting to be. This here is the canyon near Klamath. So, sparkly light, and here we go. Crashed vertebird. Lovely. Now... I know just because of reverse looking up this reference back in New Vegas, this is supposed to be the vertebird that Daisy Whitman crashed once upon a time. The old pilot who was a former member of the Enclave that you run into in New Vegas. This is the actual vertebird she was supposed to have crashed. It's not actually mentioned in this game, it was just retroactively or kind of post-retroactively, if you know what I mean, confirmed in Fallout New Vegas. And I'm guessing the bleepy light is the robot. Now, I'm not very good at science yet, so I'm not sure I'll be able to do much of this robot. Still, there is a person in a strange type of armor here. I haven't actually got power armor training yet, but... Enclave armor. Never say no. Hello, Mr. Robot. By any chance, can we have a nice chat? And... I'm going to be murdered by that robot right now, aren't I? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm going to fire at it once, and then... Or I'm not. I forgot to reload this thing, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. I'm about to be so killed. I'm about to be so killed. Right, the robot is critically hit. There we go. And severely wounded with crippled limbs. Right, um, I'm gonna need you to save me. Please hit it with a hammer. Thank you. Right, reload. And then single shot at robot. 73. And that does 9 hit points damage. I'm going to keep backing off because I'm very badly wounded right now. Hit it with a hammer. Hit it with a hammer. For 9, for 8, for 2. Main structure under attack. Correcting. Actually, just for the time being. Uh, how is it doing? Almost dead with crippled limbs. Oh, flip. We might just be able to kill this robot right now. Right, reload. And single shot, and fire, and you missed. Okay, well done in general. Continue running, just run away, and please hit it with a hammer. Thank you. Right, we've got ourselves a robot. End combat right there. 200 XP, beautiful. Anything good on him by any chance? No, it's just a dead robot. Nothing on it at all. You see a crashed vertebird, nothing out of the ordinary. It's a crashed vertebird. That by default is out of the ordinary. All right. What else have we got here? There is a dead person over there. There better be something good on some of these corpses and nothing. All right. Great. Next up, 
Uh, none of this can be picked up. And you. You better have something good on you. What is that? Yellow reactor key card. Electronic security key. Color-coded yellow. I don't know what that does, but I'm having it. Right, remember I've got a reactor key card. Oh, hang on. I think I've just realized I just totally overlooked a way through the barricade. There's a door right over here. Hang the flip on. Yes, door. Now, before we go any further, I probably do actually want to heal up at least a little bit. So, uh, I probably want to do one healing powder. All right, do one healing powder right now. There we go. I've got five now. We're okay. So, that is some. And then for the rest of my health, I probably want to... You know what? I'm going to give a go at first aiding myself, actually. No, no, no. Into the skill decks, if you'd be so kind. I'm going to try and heal myself up. And I did invest in this. You failed to do any healing. I'm so bad at this. Right, in which case, I'm just actually going to use the rest until healed thing. And also, rest until party is healed. Sure, go on. So that's going to take some time to do my hit points are going up so flipping slowly you know what i'll just wait until tomorrow morning that'll be f can i actually stop once i've committed to this i'm not sure i could actually stop this now okay i'm just going to spend four days standing right here because i don't see a way of stopping this once i've started it Oh, well, at least, you know, it's going to be about, what, 12? 12 or something? There we go. It's now the 4th of August. I just basically stood there for three days. Luckily, I've got 13 years, so this should be absolutely fine. Hello there. You are actually a character who wants to chat. So you are Slim Picket. I talk for Trapper Town. You do. You're literally the only person here who talks. Here we go. So this guy's a trapper, and for $50 says he'll teach me how. Because so far, I haven't been able to actually get hides off any of the geckos. So, I'm guessing that's what we actually need to do. Pay him to be taught how to do it. So, go on then. I'll pay for that. And you ought to have learnt a thing or two about the great outdoors. What's that actually done? I don't know what that's actually done. And here we are. Confirmation about Smiley. What's a face in Whiskey Bob's Place? Well, not Whiskey Bob's Place. He just enjoyed drinking there. But I can't remember the other name, so I just think of it as Whiskey Bob's Place. Yeah, he went north looking for the source of the Golden Geckos. I just don't feel, you know, 100% ready for that yet. So maybe we just finish up preparing locally and then we go have a little look at that. He's also flagged the existence of a car nearby. So... A Chrysalis Motors Highwayman, just to the east of here, haven't figured out how to get to it yet. Okay, fine. So, a special type of car to the east. Gotcha. Okay, so confirmation, they've locked up the north side of town because of the rat problem. And that's also where this car is, the Highwayman. So hopefully I can get the key off him if I just offer to help. Gotcha. Here's the key. Don't go stirring up too much trouble back there. Make sure you close the door behind you. Gotcha. And the key is literally an object, so use key. On door. Unlock door. Spot on. Now I'm into the north side of town. Though it is a bit on the dark side. You know what? I'm just gonna wait till morning. There we go. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. So now we're north of the barricade, and we've got, yeah, gun store. Another small building there. There was talk of, yeah, the giant king of rats going on here. And there's a little rat. So we need to try and find the king of rats. Who I'm guessing is just someone dressing up like a rat or something. Because that seems to be something people do around here. Those brothers were dressing up as like scorpions or whatever. But also back here, here we go. There is actually this car that he mentioned, the highwayman. Oh, hang on. I can't get there that easily. There's more fences up around here. Fine. This place is a bit of a maze. Looks like I need to start off by going into this building over here, slowly looping my way round. Gotcha. Here we go. Gun shop. Now this, this is what I wanted. Screw the rest of it. I'm helping myself to the gun shop. And that gets me... Those are some rubber boots. I'm not sure if I can actually put those on, but screw it. Why not? More like it. Some actual ammo. And a second pair of rubber boots. All right. What are they? Can I actually equip them? No. No, I can't. Rubber boots. So an old pair of sturdy rubber work boots look durable enough. Uh, give me some more information. Can I use them for anything? No, I'm not sure what those are for then. 
This gun store is depressingly shy on guns. So there is... Oh, there's stuff here. Stuff on the table. No, there's no stuff in the stuff. Boo. At least I got a handful of bullets out of all of this. I suppose that's good. Right, more open doorways here, and here we go. We've got ourselves rats, though sometimes, yeah, with interiors, this game was a little bit hard to actually read what was going on. That's a lot of rats. Okay, 61%. How do you suck this much? How do you suck this badly? Sulik, please come and help me. I'm apparently flipping incompetent. Still, luckily they die pretty fast. Okay, so rats are nice and easy, and uh, what else can we see around here? I don't see a giant human pretending to be a rat, to be honest, which I was sort of expecting. But yeah, we should just be able to stab our way through all of these. Okay, I think that's literally every rat in this building dead, and there is a corpse at the rear here. You see a dead, strong peasant. Nothing on them, however. Okay, there was talk of- Aha! There was talk of something else, a spirit. And a manhole will presumably get me to the other side of town. Beautiful. Hello. There's more here than I was expecting, I see. So a little underground area, desks, a few bits and pieces, guns and ammo. Loving all of that stuff. Right, loot, loot, loot. Everything is now mine by sword right. And an old printing press or manufacturing doohickey. Right, so basically I've no idea what any of this does. But there is, however, a whole bunch of stuff. Ah, rocks. I probably don't need rocks. No, I'm good without rocks. Lots more rats dead. Still no sign of king rat. But yeah, there's just a whole bunch of melee weapons just sitting around here. So I've got myself, yeah, crowbar, knife, sledgehammer, all sorts of things. Now I do see some rad barrels over here. I mean, if there was going to be a king of the rats, I feel like it would be right next to the radiation. That's typical Fallout rules right there. Oh, come on. Take out a rat. You can do this. Or possibly you just do it for me. Thank you. I like Sulik. Me and Sulik can be friends. Right, that's every rat dead. But apparently there's even flipping more yet. Ah, there we go. That looks like the king of the rats. It's a mole rat. Gotcha. Here we go. I've got his attention. Right, I'm going to fall back towards Sulik, because I want, you know, Sulik to be on the front line if you be so kind. Uh, so yeah, we'll just have you over here. End my turn there. Sulik will probably charge forward. Uh, and as soon as he's actually charged forward, I can start getting some shots in uh, with a gun. Spot on. So get out my gun. I actually remember to reload the damn thing. 38% apparently. Okay, one, two, three, four. Get a bit closer. Don't shoot Sulik. And okay, that's done some good work. Six hit points. Not spectacular to be honest. Go over to my other weapon. End my turn. So I'm not sure how tough you are, but obviously it's coming for me. Because why wouldn't it? Sulik does ten hit points and then five to the rat god. And that makes it severely wounded. So, you know, we're having a good impact on it already. There's three... There's another hit for six, and then take the extra evade. It's pretty tough, and four and three. In comes nine and three. Okay, how is it now? It must be almost dead at this point. Yeah, almost dead. You know, I'm probably actually better off just going over to the gun and then reloading, because I think one shot with the gun does more reliable damage than two hits with the actual spear. So yeah, go for this. 95% and it survived that. Bloody hell, well done. Uh, in which case, please hit that thing with... Oh, I'm so almost dead. Please kill it. Thank you. Right, 300 XP and a 50 karma. And sadly, nothing on its corpse. Still, we'll check its den just in case there's something interesting going around here. Yeah, there we go. There's some interesting stuff lying around. Here we go. So there's some Xander root right there. And that is a combat knife. I think that's better than a standard knife, so that's not bad at all. What's that over there, by the way? That is... I don't know. Oh, and there's the big one. 10 millimeter pistol. An actual proper gun. And I've leveled up as well. Now this thing, this thing's sexy. I flippin' love it. Right, you, you're gonna be my new go-to weapon. Range of 25, that's flipping better. Ammo 12, that's flipping better. In fact, is there any way the pipe rifle's actually better? 
lower range and exactly the same damage range. Fine. I've now got myself a 10mm pistol. That's going to be my day-to-day go-to. That is... Uh, that's good stuff. Fine, so this place down here is basically a source of every weapon you need. You've got small weapons, you've got good weapons. Hang on, how good is that combat knife, by the way? Let's just quickly check that out. So that is 3 to 11. No, that's not great. I'll probably just sell that in that case. The sharpened spear is definitely better. Oh, and even better, with action points of 5, I can fire this thing twice in a single round. Yeah, you know what? I think you guys are screwed now. Few more rats need to be taken care of, but at this point, I'm feeling like, you know what? We got this, actually. Yes. In fact, with this level available to me, I think it's time to start, yeah, putting up that small gun skill. Now I've actually got some decent guns. I might just actually, yes, yeah, screw it. I'm going to put an entire level right now into small guns. That's a good thing to do. Oh, and a little locker at the end it gets me. Yeah, a couple of stim packs as well. Now we're in a good place. All right, I was a bit worried about the state of my character at the beginning of this episode, but now, now we're chopping through things pretty well. And one more thing down here in the corner, just a little tool set. Various useful tools, including pliers. Marvellous, that'll come in useful down the line. And a timed explosive as well. Okay, by any chance do you need me to blow up this here door? I mean, I feel like I might just be able to, like, get through that. Ah, I'm guessing I can either explode it or I can lockpick it. So I've got pretty decent lockpicking. I feel like I can probably just open this up. You failed to pick the lock. Okay, I'm going to try this a few times before we just blow it up. The door was beginning to annoy me, so I've decided to just blow it up. There we go. That's much better. And spot on, we've actually managed to get out where I wanted to be, which is on the far side of that gate, meaning... Ah, yes, of course, that car thing. I can finally check out that bloody car. Right, you better be flipping worth something, because it's taken a lot of effort to get round to you. Right, have a fiddle. And 200 XP, you find a fuel injection system in the back seat, which probably isn't where it's supposed to be. Okay... Yep, that's fine. So, fuel injection system. Do I have the fuel injection system? Is that a thing? Yes, I've now got that. I've got a fuel cell regulator. I don't, however, see a way of actually getting back to the beginning of the level. Oh, please tell me I don't have to backtrack all the way around. There must be a shortcut somewhere. If there was one, I'm not bright enough to figure it out, so I just went back through the dungeon. Luckily, thanks to the magic of editing, you don't actually need to see that. And hello, nice to live in a rat-free environment. Okay, nothing else special from you. Well, I suppose 200 XP is its own reward. And one last thing here, which is, back at the store, I've now got myself a giant pile of weapons I don't really need for anything. And I'm guessing, yeah, the pipe gun, that's going to be worth some stuff. Don't need a spare sledgehammer either. Don't need either of them. Not sure what the boots are for, so I guess I'll, like, keep one set of boots just in case I, like, need them for something. Now, I know that you guys think the gecko hide's valuable. It's about $25 each, I think. That's not great, to be honest. You can have all the booze as well. You see, what I'd like to do is, say, buy some armor. But I suspect I'm not going to be able to do that. Not the combat armor, anyway. The leather jacket I might be able to buy, just for a little bit of damage resistance, might not be bad as a starting point. Alright, so at the end of that trade, what I've got myself is uh, some actual armor. So right now, yeah, I've got no resistance to anything whatsoever. But this armor over here will get me... Yeah, there we go. One, it makes me look badass. And two, it gets me, yeah, a little bit of resistance against normal laser fire, plasma and explosions. Basically, I'm just a bit more resistant to everything. Spot on. Also, hang on, it makes my... Ooh, it makes my armor class actually go up. So apparently I'm more evasive while I'm wearing leather for some reason. Also picked myself up one more stim pack, so useful for emergencies during combat. Still got plenty of ammo. Still got a couple of flares. Still got some throwing knives. Still got that rope, and also I can cosplay as a lobster. Just in case that's relevant for something. And finally, rest up until healed, and it's the morning, so yeah, we're now up to the 7th of August, 2241. It is 8am, and I am in marvellously good shape. Good, good, good. Hit points up to 40, in fact. Absolutely beautiful. I am feeling really damn good right now. This was the right decision to make. If I just run back into the waste the moment I had a gun, 
I'd have just been torn apart. But now I've got a friend, I've got some armor, I've got a decent weapon, we should be doing better. Though I should stress, back in Fallout 1, you got the 10mm at the very beginning of the game, you had it right from the beginning. This game is brutal, Fallout 2's really ramped up the difficulty to a higher level, which worries me, because Fallout 1 was already really rather tricky. Still, we're good for the time being, let's get back out there, I think we're ready. Here we go, the den's down there, but we're not quite done with this area yet. I want to go and rescue Smiley. Or rather find his corpse and confirm he's dead, because there's no way in hell he's alive. So, off we go. And yeah, this time I've actually got a travelling companion. And as soon as we hit the mountains, we'll probably slow down a little bit. Might run into some trouble on the way, we have indeed. That doesn't actually mean- Ooh! A band of angry outcasts. Hello, lads! So- so, 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 we ran into you previously, and you straight up murdered me. Well, now I've got a big friend with a hammer and a new gun. I think you're in trouble. Oh yeah, it's Karga. I am the chosen one, aren't I? Screw you, you stupid bastard. Yeah, bring it. Flipping bring it. Why don't you just run over to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna work out so well for you. Hey, guess what I've got? I've got a gun. 95% chance to hit. Oh, flippin' love it. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because, of course, I could take two shots, or I could take one aim shot and then a stab. And this could be the first time... Oh, here we go. Here we flippin' go. This is where aim shot starts becoming very, very powerful. Because if you can hit the more vulnerable areas in aim shot, you get all sorts of benefits. The eyes are the hardest thing to hit of all, but... If you can get a critical in the eyes, they are screwed. It can be ludicrous damage. I'm going to go for a 90% headshot. And there we go. He was hit in the head for 16 hit points. Right flip in there. Which I believe, hang on, the damage range of this thing is up to, what was it? It wasn't up to 16. That's more damage than it would have done otherwise. So now I can only actually do one shot. I forgot to reload this thing. Oh well, that's fine. So I can get him one aimed shot and then one stab, 50-50. And I think he avoided that. Okay, he missed that right there. But I've also got a friend with a hammer. <laughs> so this is absolutely fine. And he's just completely knackering these bastards. Beautiful. Oh my flipping goodness, you are destroying them. Oh, Oh, I like you. You're good. You're very, very good indeed. Okay, what's the say to play right here? Because Sulik has just destroyed these people. You are knocked down on the ground and you're not getting up for a bit. You've been actually knocked way back. You're severely wounded. Woman on the ground is... Wait, what? Oh, apparently she's dead. Oh, I didn't even realise she's dead, but she must be if I can actually loot the corpse. Well, bloody done. That does unfortunately mean, however, yeah, I've just actually given away the action point. Sorry, I just wanted to check on her condition. Uh, okay, what about you? He looks wounded. Okay, I'm assuming they're gonna want to come for me. So I'm actually gonna reload, and then I'm just gonna take two steps away, because it's gonna take them a fair few action points to get over to me. That's probably worth it. No, Karga is instead, I think, actually running away. So Outcast was critically hit in the left arm for 20 hit points. So, yeah, Sulik is absolutely murdering these bastards. Probably I actually want to... That's only 41%. Maybe I just finish off these guys, yeah. One shot on you, and you popped a lung. Bloody hell. Uh, yeah, take another shot. There we go, and... Alright, you've actually missed. You've taken a stab at me. I've taken a very light tap, but that's five and Outcast was killed. Are you sure he's dead? I'll just keep shooting to be sure, but alright. There, I'm pretty sure he is actually dead on this occasion. So I've just gained five karma for killing my own fellow villagers. I'm not 100% sure what was going on there. Sadly, this time they don't actually have a camp, so I can't actually loot that. And Karga got away. Right, so he runs for it. We'll probably be seeing him again. And this time, don't forget to reload just for safety. Well, the combat is indeed technically over. 160 XP. And these guys, yeah, I believe one of you had a knife on you. I'll take it with me. If only because knives are actually quite valuable. But yeah, next time we run into Karga, if we run into him again, remember, he flees. So take him out first. 
Right, on our way in that case. Oh, I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling very, very good indeed. I'm feeling like, yeah, we flipping got this. And straight into the toxic caves, and the moment I arrive, I am under attack. Okay, what are we looking at? Ah, okay. Get why they call them the toxic caves. We've got ourselves... Uh, yeah, we got one gecko there, another gecko there, golden geckos over here. And since the last time I've actually fought a gecko, someone claims to have taught me how to do gecko trapping. So I'm assuming I can now actually skin them. I'm not 100% sure on that one. What else do we have? Oh, it's another little dungeon. There's actually a hole with a ladder at the end of this. Okay, there might be a fair few geckos that need murdering in that case. Gotcha. We'll no need to waste time on just these little lads. Should be able to do a pretty good job against them. Yeah, just basically by hitting them with a giant hammer. So that's nice and simple. Uh, what else do we have over here? I see the golden over there. Probably I want to use my gun to draw over one golden immediately. I'm a little bit concerned by, you know, the various smoky effects over there. This place feels a bit on the radioactive side. Right, in we go. Let's just try and draw the attention of one of them. But ideally... Not both. I'd like to fight just one of the golden geckos at a time because they're not insignificantly weak. Oh, they're both... They're a bit close together. Yeah, here we go. You are coming over to me. This is good. This is very, very good indeed. Get out the gun. I can get a couple of single shots in and... Wow, only 49%. I'm... I'm surprised it's that low. I might take one shot... For... Ooh, that was a critical for 13. But yeah, that's a critical for 13. I got 16 for that headshot just a minute ago. That's how powerful aim shots can be. Do I want to take another 50-50? Or would I rather back off at this point? Because I would rather actually have Sulik on the front line. Probably not a bad idea. Because it feels like enemies, like, they decide they're going to go for you. They're way more interested in you than they are their companions. So he comes in, takes a swing... And I'm going to assume... Oh, yeah, sorry, my second turn. Um, I'll take, yeah, one, two over here. And I'll take a single shot. 41. Was that a... That was a mess. And then, okay, end my turn there. He'll probably run over to me. And he does not actually have the ability to get another hit in. Good. So he's just taken six hit points. He is severely wounded. Okay, that works for me. Let's go for an aim shot, which is 70% to the head. I'm going to go 80 for the groin. You managed to miss. Well bloody done. Okay, that's just bad luck, unfortunately. And go for a spear thrust. And 36%. I probably should have just taken the armor condition. I was hit for one. And then he missed. Okay, the armor is proving very, very useful indeed. Yeah, in old Fallout, armor was critical because you didn't have much health and you took damage so fast. I'm just going to go for two single shots here. Because I feel like two single shots is probably enough to put you down. Okay, we had trouble last time we fought a golden gecko. Now, now things are looking better. And more importantly, can we get... No, I still don't have the ability to get a hide off that guy. Oh, well, whatever. And don't forget to reload your guns. Also, how much actual ammo do I have here? I'm a little bit concerned that I don't have that much. Oh, I've only got 32 bullets left. Right, maybe try and, like, you know, slightly hold back on the ammo when you can. And come on. Come on, lads. Come on. Over here. Oh, oh, don't stand in the green slime. Don't stand in the green slime. Do not stand in the green slime. Uh, maybe stay away from that stuff. Come on, over here whenever you're ready. Here we go. Those guys have got good visibility on them. So, he runs towards me. I should have a pretty clean... Oh, yeah. 93. Golden geckos. That is a sensible use of bullets. So, fire twice. And then he comes in and just decides to kick him in the head. Oh, now we're facing two at the same time. And also a little one. Oh, we may have made a mistake. Okay, also Sulik is repeatedly missing, which is bad news. 85%. That is seven hit points. Another shot, please. And six hit points. He's coming over to me, but he doesn't have a hit. That guy... Oh, wow. One of them actually attacked Sulik. That's incredible. Sulik is just going to murder the little one for me. The little one is knocked down, so he'll have less he can do this turn, but he's still not great. Uh, you are almost dead. 
Fine, take a single shot. And, oh, bloody hell. Right, um, if it's a single shot and he was almost dead, no, put him in the ground. Make sure he's in the ground, spend the bullet. Because I'm much more likely to hit with a gun than I am with a spear. And down he goes. Now the other one will probably... No! Sulik's being attacked right now. But only for like 11. Little Gecko's been hit for 12 and is dead. Okay, can I hit that guy? 65%. I'm gonna get closer. Uh, yeah, if I go... 1, 2, 3, 4. And then go for an aimed shot. Can I actually hit him? Okay, 61% in the head. Roll, and that was a miss. He comes and attacks me. I'm hit for four. Be careful of these guys, because these guys can poison you. Right, go for the head again. 70% this time. Oh, that's better. And, oh, look at that. Critical hit in the head for 39 hit points. Knocks him unconscious, but also happens to kill him at the same time. That's what criticals in body parts do. They flipping destroy enemies. It's beautiful. And all of that worth our oh, 300 XP. Now we're starting to do some leveling up here. Right, through the goo, fast as you flipping like, and suit it was... Wait, what? Suit it was... What's happening? Oh, is it the goo? Is the goo hurting me? I'm not sure if the goo's hurting me. The goo might be hurting me. Sulek, please. Sulek. Sulek, don't run through the goo, Sulek. Well, on the plus side, we've got stim packs. We got flares. I can sell them for a bit of money. That's Radex, isn't it? Yep, yeah, that's Radex. And some more. Oh, boots. Boots. Walking through sludge. Boots. Right, how do we put those on? Because I feel like this is important. Hang on, look at my actual feet here. Is this actually having any impact? Okay, I'm going to walk into the goo now. I'm going to walk into the goo while wearing the boots. And the answer is... No, no, uh, wait, well I didn't. Uh, Sulek, please run! Sulek, for the love of God, Sulek! 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 He's about to die, isn't he? Sulek's about to just die to random goo. Okay, next time there's goo, just tell Sulik to wait at the back. Alright, that's probably for the best. I'm gonna try and first aid Sulik. I haven't really succeeded in first aiding. Ooh, I actually managed to do some healing! Oh, it turns out I'm amazing at first aid. And I think now it's on a cooldown, isn't it? Am I not allowed to do it again? I'm not sure. No, I failed to do any healing on that occasion. I think there might be a bit of a cooldown, but I'm not sure the game tells you about it. There we go. Let's give him some healing powder and a stim pack. Just one of each, just so he can heal himself. I've also told him to keep a close distance to me, which I think means... Uh, yeah, he seems to be more running at this point. Good. Good, good, good. Because I want him to be on the front line, so I'd like him to run when I run. So this seems like a good improvement. Alright, down we go into the... Okay, right. Down into the whatever this is, the like, sewers... Under a cave, however that works precisely. Okay, so I'm looking for a- Oh! Hello! I'm looking for a guy, and there does seem to be a guy over there. And arguably, even more importantly, there seems to be the sort of architecture and elevator I would normally associate with a vault. Now we're in some interesting stuff, okay. And while I'd rather not do it this way, I feel like, oh yeah, there's- there's a lot of golden geckos around here. I better stick to using my gun for the time being and- Oh! Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Critical hit in the head for 47 hit points. Then his arm fell off. I'm gonna be honest, I may not know what the head is. Now the game did just give me some radex. And there do seem to be a lot of barrels with like, you know, radiation and stuff on them around here. So I've decided, just for safety, I'm actually going to use that Radex, just to be safe. And, yeah, guy number two starts running in. Do I have a clean shot at you? 43%. I think, actually, I might be better off going... Yeah, one, two, three, four. Leaving me with six action points to still get an aimed shot in. That is not spectacular, to be honest. But I'll take a leg shot. I think that was a hit. Yes, hit the right leg for seven... And for two, then he gets knocked down and now he's just sliding away. 
Okay. That's, that's absolutely fine. Can I actually make it over to him? Uh, that's six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Go over to Spear and give him a stab because he's down on the ground so he should be easier to hit. Yes, 66. And I still managed to fluff it. Well done me. I'm so bad at this. I'm so catastrophically bad at Spears. I should just stop using Spears. I'm just giving up health for no reason. Right, Sulik, please... Help me, because I'm terrible at my only job. Right, what's going to be the best way to go here? Because it looks like it's just a bit of a ring around this whole area. Never mind, I've already been spotted by more flipping golden geckos. Looks to me like, yeah, there's fewer actual geckos on the northern route, but maybe slightly more in the way of goo. So we'll probably head up that way, and I might just tell Sulik to hang back once we've taken out a handful of them. Okay, so what I probably want to do is go back to gun. I'm burning through ammo fast, but hopefully it'll all work out. Right, two steps towards him, and then 51%. No, 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 hang on. Go back to uh, normal shot, please. Uh, yeah, take a single. 50%. I think that was a hit right there. Yeah, 10 hit points, and then I'm actually going to step back. One, two, three. And then you... Just knock him down. You're very good at knocking him to the ground, which means you can do less the next turn. So, at this point, I can get... That's only 21% chance to hit. I'll probably actually just stay back here. I'll end my turn there and convert all of that into armor class and then knock him down. You failed to knock him down. Right, in which case, aimed shot. 95, 70% in the head. And... Eight hit points. Didn't get the crystal on that occasion. That's a shame. Right, in which case, pull out the spear. At least give it a go. You're probably not going to hit him. Nope, that's a miss. And I'm taking more flipping damage. And keep just knocking him down and he's dead. I feel like Sulik should be the chosen one, really. Not me. For safety, I'm going to do, yeah, a single healing powder. I know that's perception minus one. But it's probably still worth it. I'm pretty good at hitting things with my gun. Right, round here. And as I say, stick to the northern path. That seems to be the quieter. So just let you turn around. You'll see me in a second. And then you'll run directly at me. I should have a nice shot at you. And that might be all of the bullets I've actually got left. <laughs> that could be a problem, actually. Uh, yeah, take a single shot, and 60%. Okay, that's a hit for six. And that's a miss. Alright, you go in, hit him with a hammer, that's a miss unfortunately, so that means he doesn't get to actually be knocked down. But what I can do is get just a little bit closer. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then get right in for an aimed shot at him, and uh, screw it. 60% of the groin! And that actually knocks you down 20 hit points, damaging its breathing ability. And he missed me, gets hit for three. How's his health right now? He is severely wounded, so that is not actually almost dead. I'm just going to put two bullets in him. One for six. And second for... Okay, that was actually a critical, but only for five. Knock him down, job done. Right, pretty good. Now, is that actually all the bullets I've got? No, no it wasn't. We're fine. It's not a disaster yet. 15 shots left. Oh dear. I'm also not sure if that includes the 12 bullets already loaded into the gun or if that's literally it. Right, follow the North Passage, which does seem to be a lot quieter. And now we enter the territory where there's a giant pile of goo. So what I'm going to do now is... Sulik, I would like you to stay here, please. So, yeah, the problem is... No, 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 that's it for now. You just stay right here... Because I'm a little bit worried that you're going to be an idiot and... Uh-oh. There's a golden gecko. Oh, there's multiple golden geckos. Right. So, either Sulik enters that fight badly wounded, or I have to leave him behind and handle it by myself. And that is... That's a big old pile of geckos, and I don't like that one little bit. Unless, of course, I could just sneak in. It depends how far they roam... They might actually, like, you know, naff off all the way over here. It feels like they actually might be doing. Right, okay. This is probably a good moment to just, yeah, for me, to head round over here. Okay, so I'm at 38 right now. One of them's naffed right off. 
This one's here. I can probably take one of them out by myself. It depends if I get lucky with criticals or not in terms of how easy it is. Which is, of course, one thing you just have to get used to with old Fallout. Which is some battles, it can just be down to a dice roll. A battle with the exact same character against the exact same enemy can go stunningly well or catastrophically badly based on the back-end roll of a dice. Right, I'm going to make a run for it. I think if he just turns his back on me in a second... Go on, turn your back. There we go. Go, 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 Your boots just melted. That's good to know. Right, hang on. Does that mean I'm actually using the boots in my inventory? Am I just using them automatically? Oh, I think I am as well. Right, that is what the boots are for. I'm just automatically using boots as long as they're in my inventory. But not anymore. Now they've melted. Got it. I now understand. So, head over here. Open up this door. And you must be Smiley. I'm genuinely very surprised you're alive. Hello. People call me Smiley. I'm sure glad to see you. I thought I was going to die down here for certain. I'm hurt too bad to get past those damn lizards on my own. Yeah, fun fact. I didn't bother dealing with them either. Because they're too tough for me as well. So, uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, you were looking for the source of the lizards, weren't you? And I always caught more golden geckos north and west of Klamath than anywhere else. I figured they lived someplace up here. Looks like you were right, actually. Yes. Looks as though I was a little too right. I got in here okay. Then one of those damn geckos got behind me and down near took my leg off. I just barely made it over here. And Jer, yeah, why didn't they finish you off? Well, he was hiding behind a door, John. You're not the smartest cookie, are you? I guess they don't like crawling through the goo too much. Can't say I blame them. It sure burns if it gets on your skin. That doesn't seem to stop them from licking up the darn stuff like it was Buckner's best. Right, that probably is what makes a gecko into a golden gecko. Drinking radioactive soup. Gotcha. So enough gum flapping. Let's get out of here. I figure that if I join you, we should be able to make it out of here, okay? I sure could use the help. Ooh, I wonder if you're a companion. Actually, you don't have an animated face or a voice actor. So maybe not. And yep, yeah, you can join me. I'll make sure you get out of here and make it back to Klamath. And I think that Arden is going to be very glad to see you too. You two are sweet together. I assume I've never actually seen you together. But first, I need to have a little looksy around here. See what we can do with any of this. So yeah, there's a computer here. Can I do anything with it? And I see a computer. I'm going to science it. Activate science. I fail to learn anything. <laughs> I wonder if I do that enough times, maybe something will happen. You know what? Probably not. Let's just get out of here. Then we need to pick our moment carefully. Then again, this actually seems like it's a pretty good moment. Uh, head over here. What's this? Yeah, I'm actually going over here, by the way. We're going into the elevator. So, looks like you need to get the generator working. Okay, we might be on to something here. This looks like a generator. Alright, do a repair action on that if you'd be so kind. I'm, oh, I'm terrible at repair. This could horribly go wrong. If I get a critical failure, I could just destroy the thing or blow myself up or something. Okay, I'm coming to the conclusion that I'm not going to be able to repair the generator, tragically. In which case, we probably just need to get the hell out of here. And this actually feels like it is a, a good moment to do that. Though this is going to hurt because now I don't have boots. So go, 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 go. No, just, just keep walking. Keep walking when you reach the goo, smiley bloody hell. Right, and through, 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 through. Do not stop and take damage every step. Just do what I'm doing, smiley. Come on, smiley. Come on, smiley. There you flipping go. Right, Sule, you're coming with me. All right, go new action team. Not sure whether smiley might be a companion. I mean, you know, not every... Uh-oh, 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 guys. I feel like some more golden geckos have spawned in that weren't here originally. I feel like they were not there when we came in at all. Right, we might need to take out a handful of them yet. Or we might be able to just sneak out. Which I feel like is a good thing to do. Because while I can take these guys, I'm running dangerously low on ammo. Okay. There's only one left. Okay, this is the time. This is the time. This is the time. Go, 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 go. Go to action team. And now we get the first shot in. Screw you. And screw you again. And I just won two coin flips. And are you planning to help, by the way? Obviously, he's coming for me. Only four hit points. In comes the hammer. Looks like, uh, yeah, Smiley's not actually helping that much. Okay. Go for a big hit. 61% in the head. And fluffed it. 
Okay, well, you do take the risk with the aimed shot. It's often very inaccurate, which is weird for a thing called aimed shot, but okay. Go for a stab. And we actually got a hit in there. And you're just going to try and punch the gecko. Marvellous. I've just taken a lot of damage. And Sulik missed. And then did actually hit. Go back over to the pistol and just use two normal shots. I just want him dead as fast as possible. Sometimes the easiest solution is the simplest one. And that's just to shoot him in the head. Right, guys. Let's basically get out as fast as flipping possible, please. Thank you very much. All right, everybody run out and try not to run through the goo. Sulik managed to just run through the goo. All right, well done. And you ran through the goo as well. You're all bloody geniuses, every last one of you. Right, before we actually head out, because who knows what's in the wasteland, uh, reload. Be ready to flip and go. All right, let's flip and do this because we're not home free yet. And actually, no, it looks like he's going back to Klamath by himself. Fair enough, I suppose. I was happy to escort you, but whatever. And ooh, a thousand XP and 75 karma. That's not bad at all. I can't be too far off. Yeah, I'm actually like 500 XP off level 5. Nice. Right, in which case, we may as well nip back to Klamath myself. Because potentially, his girlfriend will give me a reward. Oh, we've run straight into something. Oh, bloody hell. What's happening? What's actually happening right now? Hang on. Noise is coming from inside a cave. We run into trappers fighting golden geckos. Right, well, that's appropriate for where we are, absolutely. So, one of the trappers is already dead, and we've actually got ourselves, yeah, some little allies here. This is good. So, we will help you out. Take one shot and knock you down. So, that was a critical hit for... Oh, 30, flippin' love it. I'm gonna back off, alright? So, I'm gonna guess they're gonna play by normal enemy rules and run straight at me and ignore literally everybody else. And no, for once, they're actually not. So I will actually assist. But honestly, if some of these guys end up dead and I get their stuff off them, it's not the worst thing in the world. So you're already dead over there. One, two, three, four, five. Take another shot at you for 81%. There we go. Doing some damage. And they're just doing some stabbing too. More flipping, stabbing. Yeah, these trappers actually seem to be fairly capable. Lovely. One of them's down on the ground though, but he's unconscious, not dead. And oh, it's all a bit of a mess. Um, I can't quite see what's going on, lads. I'm just going to take, yeah, four steps. And then try and take a single shot at something. All right, well, I've done some damage to a bad thing. I'm going to take that as a win right there. And then more stabbing. They've got these guys surrounded at this point. Actually, they're yelling, this is my hunting territory, leave. As if they might turn on me the moment this is over. Which is entirely possible. One of them's also come over towards me. So, I'm just going to put some bullets in him. Because screw you. Now, looks like there's one left. And continue stabbing. Oh, you guys are terrible at your jobs by the Luxie of it. And... Uh, you're going for none of mine. This is all marvellously good news then. And I'm pretty sure I'm aiming at a gecko right now. Yes, I do seem to be aiming at a gecko. Good. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I accidentally shot Sulik. Yeah, line of sight's a thing. If someone's in the way of your target, you 100% can actually hit them instead. So take a couple of steps closer. Now I think I've got a cleaner line and... Oh, I think so. Um... Don't shoot the man. Shoot the gecko. Yes? Good. Well done. Also reload. I've still got at least one full clip. This is fine. And now more stabbing. Just a little baby needs to be taken out now. Yes, it turns out the little NPCs are just as terrible with spears as I am. Right, and just take a step over here. Uh, one, two... Yeah, one, two, three... And then just basically take an aim shot at, um, probably the gecko. Okay, an aim shot will be safer, because then I know what I'm aiming at. Oh, yeah. That's how you flipping do. And hopefully that's the end of the combat, right? You guys aren't about to... Are you about to attack me? Are you actually about to attack me? I bet you are as well, you massive dicks. Right, I'm going to start running at this point. And... Yellow-bellied sap sucker. Are they planning to kill me? I don't know if they're planning to kill me. Um, 
I mean, can I end the combat? Yes, I can! Excellent! Maybe they were talking to the geckos. Also, I think one of your friends is dead, so I think I'll be having his stuff, please. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. Flip an antidote. I haven't seen any of that for bloody ages. Though I wouldn't be too surprised if... No, they haven't shot me for looting the corpse of their friend. Better and better. And he's willing to sell gecko pelts, but... Yeah, he's actually selling them at a worse rate than the shop will buy them for, so there's no point in me doing so. But I'm guessing they might be used in some form of crafting, or someone wants them, or diddly diddly dee. But yeah, these guys are willing to sell, but I don't think there's any point to doing so. Also, seriously, don't forget to save before you step outside to the wider world, because you can just run into any madness out here, alright? Be ready to die, okay? Any flippid time you're out in the world, be ready to die, and... Okay, we're just being very unlucky on this occasion. We just keep being flipping attacked. But I'm not wasting ammo on tiny scorpions. Alright, scorpions we can handle with just stabby stabby spears. And there we go, you're dead. Start retreating and Sulek, please save me from the scorpions. Thank you. I like how far he sends them sliding and... Is that one going to stop? It did eventually stop sliding. Beautiful. Okay, so where are they going to end up? We've got one right by him, one over here, two over here. He's going to attack that one for me, probably kill it or come very close. Probably best I actually take, yeah, two steps over there and then do a quick stab and come on. There we go. Ooh, you survived that. Oh, I'm about to be attacked from every side. I've made a really, really bad series of decisions here. These guys are all going to... Ooh, they actually don't. Not quite. Good. So that's one dead. Now I'm a bit on the, um, bit on the surrounded side. I might just get out the gun for safety here. There's a few too many of them all standing next to each other for my liking. So, one. And... Two. There we go. That's better. Which means I'll be attacked by one person. But if I'm very lucky... Yeah, there we go. I have not been poisoned. I don't have to waste that antidote I just got. Good. And I believe that's your lot. End the combat. And level up. I thought it would be. Spot on. Yeah, we've run into a lot of stuff around here. But we have got some fairly easy XP out of it. So, what are my priorities right now? I feel like I wouldn't mind repair being at least a little bit higher. 14% certainly seems a bit on the low side. So let's get that to 20%. Small guns, I wouldn't mind boosting that a fair bit either. At least to 100%. 101, that's a nice number for Fallout. Lockpick, probably could do with being a bit higher as well. What are my priorities right now? I don't mind a bit of first aid, you know. I actually quite like first aid. And I know there are books you can use to boost it, but... I wouldn't mind first aid at 30, and speech just a little bit up to just for safety. There we go, speech 54, lockpick 50, small guns 101. And if we could just have a peaceful rest of the walk back to town, that'd be flipping marvellous. This has been quite action-packed so far. There we go, made it back to town, and yeah, my rad resistance has worn off, because I did the rad X, but it only lasts a certain amount of in-game time. Now, back to town and back to Bob's whiskey place. Because I feel like you owe me a thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. And just be a bit more careful in future, please. Uh, I don't know what we could ever do to thank you. Ooh. Okay. While I admit I could get karma by saying no, a word of thanks is enough. I do enjoy money. Money is important. Money is always a nice way of saying thanks. And uh, I don't have much, but here's $100. I wish it could be more. With all the Brahmin we've lost, that's all we can afford. You know what? That'll flip and do. That's not bad at all. I'm guessing if I'd said no, that would have been free karma. Now, over to the pit boy. We need to check what else there actually is to do in town. So, hang on there. Status. Klamath. And uh, we've killed the rat god. We've rescued Smiley. We've refueled the still. We've guarded the Brahmin. And, uh, ah, we need to figure out who's rustling the Brahmin. Now, I think we know who's rustling the Brahmin. Because we found the actual evidence that the bug men are... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, here we go. It's... Do I even have them anymore? Yes, these here little bug claws. So I've got these bug claws. Now, who do I actually speak to about that? Who's leading the investigation? 
because I have proof about who the bug men are, or rather, I have proof that someone is trying to be a bug man. I'm just gonna quickly chat to all the important people of the community, just to see if anyone wants to chat about this more than anybody else. Here we go, about your missing Brahmin, so it's her Brahmin, so presumably she's the person to chat to. Have you found something out? Yes, I think the Dunton brothers are rustling your Brahmin, I just thought you should know. And they're doing it by pretending to be weird bugmen, just to actually freak out... What was his name? The guy who actually guards them, who's not the brightest bulb in the shed. And what? Are you sure about this? What proof do you have? I found some hollowed out rad scorpion claws in a shack near your Brahmin's grazing area. I think the Duntons are wearing these to scare Tor, hence his fear of Bugman. There we go. So I've got those in my inventory. So this shows up. I thought they were up to their usual tricks. My poor little Tor, what bullies those boys are. Well, that explains what's spooking Tor. But I'd like to get more proof that the Duntons are the ones that have been stealing our cattle. I'm afraid that word of mouth isn't good enough. Well, I do literally have the claws, but okay. I need to scrounge up a bit more evidence. Now, how am I going to do that? Because even if I could get them to admit to it, just by like having a chat to them, that's still word of mouth. But on the other hand, we do know where they live. It's this house right here. And we also know that one of them, or at least one of them, it might be both of them, are sweet on Jenny over at the bathhouse. So possibly they've told her something. Okay, we got some leads we can follow here. Looks like they're not at home right now. So that's just a few bits of meat. And then we've got a door right over here that is locked. Ah, well, if it's locked, that means there's probably something behind it. And I am not a terrible lockpick. So you failed to pick the lock. Come on, let's get this done. Okay, this here appears to be a no-go. This must just be a really, really tough lock because I cannot flipping crack it. Right, over to plan B. Let's speak to Jenny about these lads. No, nothing from her. The only person I can ask after is Vic, which I did last time. Here we go. So the shed behind their house is presumably their Brahmin. And if you look at these Brahmin, something's going on here. A brand. So are the cattle mutilations and abductions just being used as cover? They're just like, you know... Killing one Brahmin of the other guys, then stealing a whole bunch of them, then rebranding them as their own and saying, Oh no, your Brahmin must have been stolen by these terrifying bugmen, with Tor as their unwitting accomplice because he's the one repeating the story about the bugmen. Okay, that makes sense. So both of these cows are in fact the same cows that were thought to have been mutilated. They weren't mutilated at all. They were just stolen and rebranded. And hopefully that's all the proof she needs. Here we go. So I checked the brands on the Brahmin over at the Duntons. If you look closely, you can see they simply slapped their brand over the top of the previous one, which was yours. So that settles it then. With the bug parts and the double branding, we've got enough to turn those no good boys in. Into who? You don't have a police force or a sheriff or anything. Do you just mean you're going to shoot them? Those ruffians won't be causing trouble anymore. Oh, I think they are just going to go and shoot them. Fair enough. And go on then, I'd like a bit more money if you'd be so kind, so I'm a bit low on the old cash right now. And 150. Spot on. But don't worry, I'm very happy to spend some of that money right here. Because your own daughter runs a shop, but if she's got any ammo, I am very willing to buy it. Well, no ammo, but I'll gladly take $80 off your hands while I'm here. Lovely. Here we go, 24 more bullets over at the Golden Gecko. For $127? Every flipping time. Right, get myself armed again here. We've got ourselves a, a big old pile of ammo again. That's good. In fact, ooh, we've pretty much used up all of the last ammo. Yeah, that 24 ammo I just bought, that's literally all the spare ammo I've got. So that's good. But I think we're now in a good enough position to head out into the world. So let's flip and go, shall we? In particular, our next big destination, of course... The Den. Vic is in here somewhere, and Sulig wants to come here. He wants to have a chat with some slavers who might have kidnapped his sister. This is a bit of a long journey, however, so might take us a while to get there. Especially if we get unlucky with some random encounters. And we've got something here. Group of rad scorpions, including... Oh, that looks like a big one. That looks like a really big one, actually. Yeah, we've got ourselves... Uh, what is that? Well, it just says Rad Scorpion, but it feels big to me. Though there is the corpse of a merchant here. 
That might make for some good loot if we can get to it. The little one shouldn't be a problem. The big one, maybe more so. This would be a lovely, lovely time for me to have a grenade, actually. A grenade over there would be perfect, but... Okay. I'm gonna go... One, two, three, four. Stab in the face. 63% chance to hit. Instant kill. Fall back. Two steps. Alright, they now start walking in... Not my direction. Okay, hang on. We can actually end the fight right here. Okay, go, 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 go. Seriously, let's not do this unless we absolutely flipping have to. And if we can take them on in like little bits, that'd be good as well. They're starting to spread out at this point. Okay, have a little look -see. Wooden boxes. That's a pot we can... Yes, there we go. That's a pot we can explore. And nothing good though. Right. Do we want to try and make our way to the corpse of that merchant? Or would I rather just make a run for it? Because I could just actually go up to... There'll be... Yeah, there's just a transition around the entire area. So I could just basically say, screw it, I'm on my way. Do I think getting that merchant's going to be worth the ammo it's going to cost me? I don't know. If the big lad walks away... Actually, yeah, the edge of the map's right there. So the big lad's always going to be right next to that merchant. I think we should go. My ammo is very limited right now. And uh, we don't know how much of it we're going to be needing for other stuff. Let's just sneak out of here, alright? We killed one of them. Let's flip and go. This is how Fallout 2 works sometimes. The most sensible thing you can do is not fight. Sometimes if a fight's too hard or... Hello, we've got... Oh, we've got several golden geckos. I'm going to die. Yes, this is definitely, definitely one of those run scenarios. Where's the nearest way out? Because we need to get the hell out of here. Yep, yeah, just run, just run. Do not fight. We're flipping... Okay, um, Sulik doesn't really understand the concept of not fighting. But on the plus side, he's going to buy me some time to escape. Oh, Sulik is being sort of attacked right now. Sulik, we really don't want to actually do this. We want to go. I don't know what's going on up there, but it feels like it's bad for Sulik. So just remember, Sulik is now really, really low on health. He's going to heal up a little bit while we're traveling, but only like once every, I think like six hours. I think it's the same as if you're resting. There we go. No more trouble. That was probably for the best. We could have won those fights, but it would have completely exhausted my ammo supplies. And we might need that ammo in the den. And here we go. This town looks like one mean place. A good place to own a gun. Well, good news about that, because that's exactly what I flippy got. Spot on. So, what do we have over here? We have got Beckys. We've got a whole bunch of people. We've got Tubbies. Over there as well, we got all sorts of flipping buildings, and we've got the Brotherhood of Steel. Hello, lads. Right, this doesn't really seem like your sort of neighbourhood, to be perfectly honest. I kind of feel like you'd be like, you know, in your own bunker out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by people with power armour. But I can't help but notice next door, Genuine Mummy. Now, we know one person in the world who spells genuine like that. And it's the same person who wrote the note in Klamath. Vic. That's flipping Vic. So, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to explore the den. And it does look like a sleazy, dangerous place. But also a place where we've got the Brotherhood. We've got our first big lead, Vic. And who knows what bloody else is going on. Because I suspect some of these places are morally dubious, shall we flipping say. And we'll figure out just how morally dubious next week, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. And this has been Fallout 2. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here. And then we have got... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.